are you still familiar with the Karate Kid? If yes, let me inform you that its spin-off story was entitled Cobra Kai, and it is a series. Cobra Kai was a massive hit for Netflix because it was popular returning original series. Honestly speaking, the cast members were all good at their characters, but do you know what they need to follow in order to be part of the main cast members? If not, then this video is for you. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the strict rules of the Cobra Kai Season 3 cast. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever we post. Cobra Kai's third season, often known as Cobra Kai 3, consisted of 10 episodes. On January 1, 2021, it was made available on Netflix. The series is a direct sequel to the Karate Kid first four films, centering on Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence over 30 years after the events of the first film. After the two seasons, YouTube decided to sell the series, so this is the first season to be released on Netflix. The season was ordered by YouTube in 2019 with an initial release of 2020, but it was pushed back due to Netflix's acquisition. After knowing how did Cobra Kai become popular, let's go and dig in the strict rules that were implemented to the cast members of the Cobra Kai, and here are they. Strict rule number one, must have an appealing look. The production team requires their cast members to always have fresh and decent look. Since they were in the industry of acting, they must be always ready to change their look. This means that they have different hairstyles, fashion sense, gaining and losing weight, and maintaining their body shape and figure. I can feel that those I mentioned were quite tough for the cast members, and sometimes they can't accept the way they look, but they need to follow the rule. One of the most extraordinary changes in their look has happened to Jacob Bertrand. His tattoo application took 30 minutes based on how often he moved around. When it comes to his hair, they require him to make it longer because of his legendary mohawk hairstyle. Did you know that it was actually his hair in mohawk style? If yes, then you were a keen observer. They did not use wig for Jacob Bertrand, that is why it took them an hour in doing his legendary mohawk hair. Jacob said that he was uncomfortable with his new look, especially with his red hair, and they were that time that he cut his hair really short because it was really dry. Strict rule number two, have no mercy. Since Cobra Kai was more on the combat scenes, the cast members were required to attend extreme and long rehearsal regarding combat. Just like what I have said, the series was more on combat fight and injuries on the sets were inevitable. The first cast member to experience injuries was William Zabka, Johnny Lawrence. He said in one of his interviews, The first fight to a lot of time. I pulled my hamstring. I broke my toe. I jammed my toe to nobody even knew. It went completely in my foot. He was not able to tell anyone because he doesn't want the stunt man to come in, but he was incredibly good with his character. Another cast member to have a lot of injuries was Mary Mouser, Samantha LaRusso. She experienced a lot of pain during her shooting of the Cobra Kai, but regardless of everything she'd been through, she still managed to finish the series. On one of her interviews, she said that her body was pretty tender and sensitive, that's why she's having a lot of bruises. There were times that she fell badly on her roller skate and injured her coccyx and toe. And later, she was once brought in emergency room with injured fingers after her fight scene. Strict rule number three, keep it real. Filming the Cobra Kai was not easy since it has a lot of fight scenes. Also, learning martial arts was not easy either. This requires the cast member to have a lot of practice, mainly because in one wrong move, they might have an injury. Do you want to know how do they manage to accomplish the fight scene? Then let's find out. They have been in the training for a lot of months and if you follow them on their social media, you might see some of their training video posted online. According to the cast members, before they start filming, they need to have a prior training for a lot of months. 
and they need to train and have a routine that will increase their stamina. Most common question that was asked by fans was, how did Ralph Macchio and William Zabka maintain their Karate Kid posture and shape after 35 years? According to the both of them, returning to this kind of acting was not an easy ride because in today's training, it was more intense and it was not the same 35 years ago. Even though both of them has experience in martial art, they still need to be on intense training to become intact. Strict Rule Number 4 – Take Your Personal Drama in Your Dojo For your information, supporting cast members were unexpected to come and go in a certain part of the story. One of the support cast members was Nicole Brown, who played the character of Aisha Robinson in The Cobra Kai. She was still present in the first two seasons of the series, but unfortunately in the season three, she was no longer with the cast members. This was mainly because the production team can find a suitable scene or part for her. Sadly, after being removed from the cast, she was having financial difficulties. It was undeniable that Nicole's presence made an impact to the audiences. Strength Rule Number 5 – Lessen the Drama on Set A harmonious environment on the set means a great result on the shooting. Production team and the cast members must have a great bond and relationship between each other and no other dramas and fights involved. If there is a bad blood between other cast members, it might affect the shooting of the scene. The cast may not be able to perform well and it may ruin the filming of the series. These kinds of incidents were prevented by the directors and production team by requiring the cast members and crews to bond and hang out together. If you saw some posts of cast members, you can feel they were all on good terms. One evident example of a good friendship was Sholo Maridwenia and Jacob Bertrand. They took a lot of photos together such as concerts, parties, races, funny moments and that were all posted in their Instagram. Mary Mouser and Tanner Buchanan are really close friends. They also have a lot of photos and videos together. Lastly, William Zabka and Ralph Macchio, we can call them best of friends that even 35 years later. It's really great to be friends and close with your co-cast members. Strict Rule Number 6 – Be Professional On Set Since the cast members were spending a lot of time in shoot, it's pretty impossible if they haven't fallen in love with their co-cast members. Dating a co-cast is really common among artists, and some fans might actually like it, seeing their favorite on-set couple to be in a relationship in real life. The cast members that really became in a relationship was Sholo Maridwenia and Hannah Keppel, but it did not take long. A lot of fans were shipping Sholo and Mary his co-star, but Sholo actually dating Hannah at the end of Cobra Kai Season 2. Even though they don't have many scenes together in the series, they still find their way to each other's heart. They revealed their relationship after the premiere of the Cobra Kai Season 2 in June 2019, but after the world knew their relationship, it did not take long. They broke up and removed all of their photos and videos together on their social media. A lot of fans assumed that they were still friends because they were still following each other on social media. Do you know any of these rules? If you know more about strict rules, just feel free to comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.